Hey guys, okay, if my dogs will be quiet, this is my third attempt, <laughs> if my dogs will be quiet. So I thrifted today, I've got all kinds of fun stuff going on, I'm super excited. I've got some tennis shoes of my husband's that I need to um, place on Poshmark and some other sites. I went thrifting today and I've got some at least one item I'm gonna lift, maybe two or three on Poshmark. And then I got my thread up coach rescue box and let me just tell you right now don't do it don't do it i had our neighborhood garage sales were today go she won't stop go it's my old senior boxer so um today i could have gotten actually like purses this size not this purse but this size with the okay this size but these patterns in blue, black, or brown today for $15 and $20 without any issues with them whatsoever. And the dust bags. None of these came with the dust bags. I could have had those today for $15 to $20 a piece. Instead, I paid $18 a piece for these bags. And this is my favorite one. Um, it's super clean on the inside. There's two tiny little pin marks. But then the more I look, even though there's not any wear damage, there are spots. So I'm getting, um, I'm getting ready to watch a video on how to clean the fabric because my favorite, all-time favorite coach bag is a fabric bag. And it's blocks of color. And not only do I have the big bucket, I have the small um, purse. It's about this size. Which, and it's the exact same pattern. And then I have this one in it. I never did that with Coach, ever. But um, anyway, it's a beautiful bag. It's gorgeous. But I haven't carried it yet this year because it's so dirty. So I'm reading how to, how to clean those. So this is one of them. Nothing wrong with this one whatsoever. It feels real. It is real. Is real. I have no issues with this one. Except for the fact that I paid 18 bucks for this one. This may be a vintage, may not be. It's got some damage. Again, if you really want to see um, more details, go on the other video and look. I've already shown you this one. This one, I would say, is not a real bag, except when Coach makes their purses, this ring never has a break in it. So if they made the ring and then they bent it around and where it met, Coach purses, Never have a break in them ever. One of the few purses that are one of the few brands that are like this. So if you're ever in doubt, check that. That's almost a guarantee it's real. But by this, I would say it's not real. And it's not a factory bag either. It's from the department stores, from the department store line. So that really shocks me. This is the other one I got. Not only is it factory, I have nothing against factory. There's a factory outlet near me, and it's where I buy all my purses. But they're just, for some reason, are not valued as high as the ones from the department stores. Not only is the interior of this bag full of ink blotches, it has tons of wear. I could not, I'd be lucky if I saw this in a garage sale for $15. I paid $18 for it. I won't do this again. And then this one, I might be able to list for $35 or $40, but I don't think so. So there's those, you saw those today at Thrift City. Thrift City's always my favorite. I bought this full on leather belt. I love, love, love this thing. It's not a brand, I don't think. No, genuine leather is all it says. It fits me, that's what I like about it. This is probably belt number 12 I bought this week. I didn't have any belts. Okay, so this is one item I'm going to list on um, Poshmark. It is a Calvin Klein. This is just one big silver square, or it's not a square, um, with the CK on it. And it is the most incredible um, sweatshirt. And I'm going to list this. I just looked. I gave the shirt to my daughter. I gave this to my daughter, and I said, it's a large. She's a small. I'm like, try it on and see if it fits you. It should hang off your shoulder. It should be really cute on you. And it was. It was adorable on her. And I said, if I can't sell it. So then, because she has tons of clothes. I'm not like being mean. She has more clothes than what she can wear. So I um, 
just went and looked online and these are posted anywhere from 48 to 80 dollars and i paid six dollars this is going up on poshmark so let's see these are not from thrift city so my daughter complains that i have the ugliest taste whatsoever this fits me like a glove it is going to be perfect on those cold ish days we all here in texas where i'm outside of dallas like 30 minutes outside of dallas here we don't even have 30 days of winter like where it's below freezing it can stay in the 40s and really windy and wet for a couple of days on in for like a week or so but those are really rare we you if we're going to get ice it typically is in february maybe early march and then before you know it it's 110 degrees outside so I don't wear big, thick, heavy jackets when I walk the dogs. In the winter, I do have an old, ugly parka I've had for like 20 plus years. Um, and I have that that I wear when I walk them. But even if it's 35 degrees outside and the wind is blowing like crazy, I might put a wrap on because I hate the cumberness, the, cum the cumberness, the cumble, the bother of a jacket, of a coat. And so this would be perfect. It'll go with anything. It is black and brown and cream. It'll go with anything. So anyway, there's that. This is a sleeveless top. I really did buy it for next season. I mean, for next summer and spring. But this is something, what is this? What brand is this? Style & Co. This is something that I can wear probably through the middle of November. I may have to put on like a jean or a denim jacket possibly but I can wear this for a while in the part of Texas that I'm at. I love Thrift City because typically when I go, I find Calvin Klein and uh, uh, Loft, uh, just all the big brands. I don't know, but this is Isaac Maserahi. Um, and they're typically three to $5 per top. That denim jet, or the, I'm sorry, the blazer I just showed you was five. The Calvin Klein was six. And this one was three. And I'm shocked this was three because it's sleeveless and it's end of summer. And we're, we're already, I mean, this is October 4th. We're already into uh, the fall. So I'm shocked this was still $3. This is an Isaac Maserahi. It's just a sweater, a sleeveless sweater. And I am so in love with these right now. I paid $3 for this one. I do not spend my money at a thrift store on Old Navy um no boundaries stag whatever i don't even know the brands but like walmart kmart old navy even kohl's brands i rarely spend money on those this is an old navy but the t-shirt fits perfect i absolutely love it even if i only wear it to bed i love it um and then this one i really wasn't quite sure if i was going to get this one again it's just a short uh, it's a short sleeve sweater and this will probably th do me through December typically in December while it can get cold usually on the week of Christmas the weather is stinking gorgeous it's like 65 sunny and very little wind so stuff like this will be perfect through all of those months now this is my favorite find today some of these finds, I need to go look these up. This is a brand called First Issue, and it's just a really long, button-down, thin, sleeve-up kind of top. It's a women's top, and I paid a dollar, a dollar ninety-nine for this, and it is the perfect fit. I can wear it by itself. I can, I mean, this would even go with this, honestly. Um, absolutely love that. It will be great with the care of G a pair of jean capris and maybe some heels or even some flats. Matter of fact, I ordered Clark's Fry. I ordered Fry. Fry is F-Y-R-E if you don't know. It's a great brand. I ordered a pair of clogs that the leather, it's a distressed leather and the leather is like a butter. I absolutely love, I mean like that's, I, I'm just in love with that brand. I bought those the other day for $11 on Poshmark, and they're not here. It doesn't even show that they even know I bought it yet, so hopefully I get them. This one is called Shaped Fit, 
One of them is a Liz Claiborne. This one might be Liz Claiborne. Yeah, the first issue is by Liz is by Liz Claiborne, and I love the way that one fits. Blue is always a great color for me, and it's just a funky blue paisley um, print. I don't know if you can really see that or not. It fits beautifully. Again, I can wear it open. I can tie it each corner. I can tie it together. I have tons of uses for this. This one was $3. This one I just looked up, and I even, I even commented on Poshmark. This shirt, it is a Eden... Eden and Olivia top. These on Poshmark are anywhere between $25 and $50. This exact top is listed for $35. I even commented, I'm like, oh my goodness, somebody has to buy this top. It is the most perfect top, blah, 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 blah. I just went on about it. And then I shared it with all the people that follow me because I want that shirt to sell so I can list this one if I don't keep it. I don't really want to get rid of it. I buy all of this stuff for me to wear. But if I can sell it, I'm going to sell it. Because I have so many clothes, if I sell it and it's gone, I'll never remember. Okay, so all of that was Thrift City. This is Goodwill. And yes, the, this is a t-shirt with cacti on it green cacti okay so the reason I got this not only do I have a green this exact color green pullover jacket um I also have green pants I kind of went crazy in the army green department about two years ago and I needed a shirt to kind of pull it all together and this would be perfect I can wear my green pants my the matching green it's not really a matching but the semi same color green jacket along with this super super excited this is just a J. Crew t-shirt. It feels amazing. It's the only reason I bought it. It was four. It was three dollars. That one was three dollars. I hate that I spent three dollars on a t-shirt from a thrift store, but it has not been used. It fits me great. It's definitely a fall color, and I can wear this with um, denim jeans and a denim jacket, or I have a couple of jackets that have color to them and this color is in some of them this is kind of the same thing i wore today it's a sleeveless sweater again love these have tons of things i can wear that with here is another green shirt i bought i'm actually going to try to sell this as well the material is amazing it's a what they call a wife beater it's a wife beater but um the the um, material is amazing, and then it has this amazing detail with the threading, and then with that. I am going to list this to sell, and um, I'll style it with a green jacket that I have or a denim jacket, whichever one it looks best with. I cannot figure out the name on this to save my life. I can't. I wish I could, but I can't. So I'm probably going to list this. This I paid $3 for. I'm probably going to list it for $12. If I can sell it for $12, I'll be happy. If not, I'll keep it because I've got lots of things for that to go with. Um, one thing, so I ordered my threaded box and got that in today. I um, went thrifting today and got tons of stuff. And then I went dumpster diving. I got... NARS, I don't even know how full this is, let me see. It's about to here. I got this today. Are all these tart? This is Too Faced. This is Tartist. This is Stila. Let me see, this is Stila, Tartiest. Too Faced. Dose. Is that who that is? Yeah, Dose. Yeah. And then this one is Pure. This one looks like it may be empty. So what I do with these guys is, um, these are all lip glosses. I don't do lip glosses. I have already sanitized the exterior of the bottle. I will come in 
and I will take these out. I will um, sanitize these not only with antibacterial soap, but with um, alcohol and clean these completely up. People always know what they're getting when they buy from me. Now, I do have my Poshmark site. I don't sell testers or used products on my Poshmark whatsoever. These are for my garage sale and my Facebook, and I always list that they're testers or customer returns. Um, so anything on my Poshmark is for, it's all brand new. It is all ready to go, unless it's a thrifted item. I don't list that as a thrifted item. My frames, um, I don't list that as a find either. Um, but as far as makeup, something like this, I don't sell this on Poshmark. The stuff that is on Poshmark, I used to find boxes and boxes and boxes of items that, they, that the stores threw out that they no longer needed. Brand new in box. Or maybe the box, the, it didn't have the box, but it had the product and it was still sealed, still, I mean, like no issue, like walking into the store and just taking it off the shelf. It was amazing. That's the stuff I have listed on Poshmark. I still have tons of that product. I just haven't been able to do that in like the last two to three months. Um, but I used to find those boxes a couple of times a month. And I'm talking anywhere between three boxes to 15 boxes of brand new product. Brand new hair tools still in boxes. Crazy, crazy stuff. The other thing I found today. Now, to me, this is no big deal. I always feel blessed and I always praise God for the stuff that I find. These are wet. Not only have I washed them with antibacterial soap, with Dawn antibacterial, but I have sprayed them down with alcohol. And like not all of them came came completely clean, but they are sanitized. Um, these are for garage, like this one would be for garage sale. These are not, because um, there's nothing wrong with these. Um, but I found nothing wrong with them. They just threw them away. They could have been testers. They most Some of them were testers, but most of them were not. Just thrown away. So, guys, you know how much money this is right here? This is, okay, it, and I have tons of these, by the way, that I found previously. I don't know. I think that is Benefit. That was a little damaged, though. I believe this is it as well. I have quite a few of these. Lancome. Oh, you can't see that, but this is Lancome. This is, is this the Lorac? This is Elf. This is an It. This is Benefit. Look at these. I have a bunch of these that I found previously. Sets and sets and sets of these. It. This is Urban Decay. This is Tarte, and it is the handle stained a little bit. But I mean, on and on and on. Crazy. This is easily three, four, five hundred dollars in brushes. This one is $58. This one's $48. This one's a little bit damaged. I couldn't get $48, but that's not the point. And it's not that this is damaged. This was a display, and they glued it in. No one used it. They may have ran their hands across it, but no one used this for makeup. It was glued in on a display board, and they took it off the display board. So there's that. I probably can find a way to get this off. I'm not going to worry about it, though. I don't care. I'll let somebody else do that because I'll be lucky to get $10 or five dollars for this 48 58 dollar brush this one is easily a 30 dollar brush it's not stained it just didn't i just didn't work very hard to get all that out is that everything i wanted to tell you about i think it is i think it is these are the glasses i have just some these are just a few i think i kept 10 or 12 for me this is a pair of nine west reading glasses these are my Tiffany reading glasses. I don't think this one's a brand. This one is not a brand. Reading glasses. These are my Michael Kors. These I can these are my driving glasses. And these I did not know it because I'm 
I hadn't worn them outside yet. I wore these outside earlier in the week. They're sun sensitive, so they uh, turn to shades when I go outside with them. I have a couple of coach in my purse. I have a um, Tory Burch in my purse along with the case. The case I bought at Goodwill earlier for a dollar. I bought an Oakley eyeglass case for 50 cents and a Ray-Ban glass case for 50 cents because I'm selling both of those brands as well and I needed glass cases for them. And the Tory I just wanted to keep. So anyway, guys, this video is getting super, super long. It's already 20 minutes. I am done. <clears throat> you guys have a beautiful Friday evening and a beautiful weekend. I'm going garage selling in the morning to see what else I can get. I may actually leave and go out. It is 930. I may actually leave and go out and go dumpster diving and see if I can find some stuff that people have thrown out because this is the weekend people will be moving.